welcome to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. As always, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I'm ready to have a blast with Eddie. Hi, my name is Eddie, and I'm ready to have a great time with you. Shut up, Eddie. Nobody cares about you. You little pipsqueak-looking fart nugget. I ought to put you in a jar and use you to light the path to the freaking bomb shelter. Sorry about that. That wasn't very polite. I apologize, Eddie. Bite me, you freak. Oh! Anyway, I hope you guys are excited and ready for an awesome freaking episode. As always, we, we gotta put somebody up on the wall of Legion. So let's do that, shall we? Today's Legionnaire is going to be a Mr. Haper. Haper? Haper? Dig! Haper Dig, thank you so much for all of your beautiful. Wait, hold on, I think I misspelled. Did I misspell? No, I did not misspell. Haper Dig, welcome to the Wall of Legion and for becoming a legionnaire of great respect, renown, and for, for participating in the comments. We really appreciate it. Oh, and yes! So there you go, Mr. Haperdig. You are now the newest member of the Wall of Legion. And if you guys have not forgotten today. We will be putting another member of Legion in charge of another part of the map. On the last episode, we gave a member of Legion a place, uh, a position of honor, and that was Knight Commander Crazy Zeg. Knight Commander Crazy Zeg, and he is in charge of an outpost in the Nether. So today we will pick another person, and we will be putting them in charge of another thing. So today's member is going to be... Number five. Let's see where that ends us. One, two, three, four, five. Colin Mesmer, you are now going to be put in charge of your own piece of the Legion world. Now remember, the only way to become a lord in this map is to be already on the Wall of Legion. Then we will pick someone off the Wall of Legion and give them a place in the world. Now today's person, who is that? Colin Mesmer. Colin Mesmer will be given a place of great honor. We will have to take over a village for him. Alrighty, let's do it. I'm gonna need an axe, we're gonna need a pickaxe, and that should be it. Alright, well there we go. So, we're gonna have to take over a new place for Colin Mesmer. Yes, Colin Mesmer, we're Legion is going to be expanding its kingdom outward. You may notice that my uh, map got reset. Sorry about that. Uh, that's what happens whenever you switch hard drives. Don't worry about that, guys. I'll show it to you in a minute. Just ignore that. You don't see nothing. There's nothing to see. We're going to this village over here, and we're going to set up this garrison, and that's going to be Colin Mesmer's garrison. I know there's a village over here because we saw a village. I'm going to get the village. No, I am. There's the village. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to clear out all the trees around the village, and then we need to put a wall up around the village so we can protect the villagers from the evilness that is everywhere. Okay, apparently the leaves don't want to die. Maybe we can just get rid of the wood. Okay, so I came back over to the base. We're going to sleep now. We're going to sleep. Yep, and now the rain should stop, and we can finish uh, fixing Mr. Colin Mesmer's area because, yes, we can. I also reinstalled Main Miner. As you all know, we already had Main Miner, but we had to reinstall it. Okay, so now all we need to do is we need to get rid of all of these trees. So we'll use Vein Miner, and we'll get rid of all the trees, and everything will be good. Or not. Okay, so I've decided that uh, since Vein Miner doesn't want to work, um, we'll cut the trees down once we figure out what's going on with Vein Miner. But I still have to give Colin Mesmer a place to watch over this. This is going to be Colin Mesmer's house up here on the hill. Colin, this is going to be your house. You're going to overlook the valley down there and you're going to protect the uh, inhabitants of said village. I don't know what to name this village, but we're going to put your name up here. So this will be, uh, this will be uh, Sheriff, Sheriff of this particular thing. Sheriff Colin Mesmer. There we go. Colin Mesmer. Boom. Sheriff. Sheriff Colin Mesmer of this town. Hey, how's it going? Boom! Sue me! So there you go, Colin Mesmer. You are now going to be the chief uh, pro defender of this village. Hey, that guy, I hope he didn't fall and die. <laughs> and we'll get this place surrounded with a, a wall and stuff. We need to get Vein Miner up. We need to knock down some of these trees. Get some kind of defensive structures around. And then Sheriff Colin Mesmer will have his little district to manage. There you go, Colin Mesmer! Woo! Yeah! Yeah, welcome, Colin Mesmer! Okay, now I get to show you one or two other things that I've I've worked on. You know what? I know I had this on where I could use it. I know I could teleport while I go. We are legion. We are legions, and we are legionnaires. 
over here, I'd just like to show you guys. I went on and I rebuilt our uh, farms. They're not the massive farms that we had over here. I got rid of those um, just because I was like, you know what? We got all this land. Let's use it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, over here you'll notice um, our fertilizers, we have no fertilizer. So we really can't use these uh, optimum. You know we don't have our fertilizer, our industrial fertilizer. But it is working somewhat. I am getting some wheat in a couple of these, as you can see. Not a whole lot because it's got to be natural growth wheat, whatever. And I'm sure some of you are wondering how they're being powered. No problem. The, right over here, you'll notice we have a the whole like magma thing set up. And we're using our very special ender, ender energy connections to make it all work. Which, they work great. So that's good. Okay, let me find the way out of here. There we go. Okay, now on the last episode, I told you guys we were going to use turtles. And we were going to dig out a trench so that we had a canal. Now is my pride, my... My happy, happy day to show you guys all the hard work of our turtles. I went and got an extra couple of turtles, and I went on and allowed them to do their thing. I had to stop the water flow in certain spots, but, you know, it wasn't a big deal. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, this is our gate to the sea. As you can see here, the turtles dug a huge trench all the way to the ocean that we had needed. Now remember, we're gonna use this for trading. We're gonna bring, we're gonna build an Archimedes ship to go down through here. Looks baller, right? Look at this thing. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Whenever you need to cross a great distance, but you don't have any water, bring in the robot slaves and let the robot slaves work it. Now you're probably wondering how we're gonna fill this up with water. Well, I'm glad you happened to ask that question. We're going to use ice. We're going to bring ice in here and we're going to let the ice uh, basically uh, use the ice. Yeah, we're going to use the ice and then we're going to use a builder wand to lay all the ice down through here. It's going to be freaking amazing. I think it's going to be one of the coolest things we've ever done. Although we do need to get flight control for our suit again. And there you go. Once you get to the end down here, uh, we hit the ocean and we head out into the high seas. Booyah. Boom. Panama Canal all over again. Ta-da! Uh. So, I'm sure you're all wondering, well, what do we do now? What is the, what, 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 do, what do we have to do to make it work? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're going to have to do a couple things. First thing we're going to need is we're going to need to make an ice factory to get unlimited amounts of ice. So, we'll get right to that. The second thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make a builder wand. We have a division sigil. We just need to sacrifice a baby goat. Booyah, baby goat sacrifice. So, yo, okay. So, let's get everything ready and let's start making our, 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 our glacier thingies. Glacier. Okay, we've got to make snow. So, I'm going to have to go out here. We're going to have to find some snow. I should have some snow peaks around here. There we go. Perfect. We're going to need snow for this. So, I'm going to run go grab us some snow and then we should be able to make our glacier precipitators. Precip yeah, okay. Okay, so we have enough to make those. Let's see. What do we got to do? We need, just need to make some copper gears, which shouldn't be hard to do. One, two. Actually, we're going to make a, quite a few of these. Uh, actually, not quite a few. We're going to just make some. Next thing we need to make, uh, a couple of redstone thingies like this. There we go. Okay, we should have everything we need to make this. I believe. No, actually, we're not going to have a piston because we're just not. Okay. Okay, we should be good. So now all I need to do, I'm going to just make one for now and make sure this is what we needed to begin with. Uh, yeah, and then we just make ice and then we use the ice to flood everything. Perfect. Okay, so I've made us five. We've got six of them because i got to break the other. So this is going to be awesome. We're going to use these. We're going to make a factory that will give us ice. We're going to make an ice factory, and then we should be able to make all the stuff we're going to need. It's going to be awesome. Let's see. We should have some spare fluid ducts. That's all we need. Okay. Fluid ducts, and what else do we need? Um. Okay. I think I've got everything we need. We're just going to need to get a bucket of water, and yeah. So we're going to need actually a couple of buckets of water. Uh, yeah. No, hold on. We're just going to need a couple buckets of water. We've got one bucket here, and everything should go well. I probably could set it up over here, but I moved all my magmatic engines over there. Maybe we don't go for looks right now. We just go down in here, and we use it. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to use this whole area over here just temporarily to use as our, as our, I don't know what you would call it, as our... 
uh, I'm, I'm shooting for a word here, as our temporary ice factory, just to get us started. Remember, we just need something to get us started. We'll get some ice going out of the factory right away, and everything will be good, I think. Okay, so there we go. We got that thing. This will give us endless water supply here. Oh, that's not where it goes. We put that there. All right, now all we got to do is we've got to put our aqua, our, our aqua accumulator over here. Aqua accumulator. I'll get the word writing. Just don't worry. Okay, so we need aqua with accumulator there, and that should do just fine, I believe. Where else? So we'll put one beside it over here. We have four of them, so it won't matter. All right, put one there, then Oculus Accumulator there, and grab another bucket of water. We've got a few, so we should be safe, I think. Lucky for us, Oculus Accumulators don't require any energy, so this just works. I'm going to actually only use three for now. If we need more, we'll get more. Okay, so now we have a way to get water into our Glacier Precipitators. Now we just need to run the wires through. Yeah, we need to run them up now. Okay, lastly, we need to, we'll put a glacier precipitator on each side of these, and this should work just fine, I think. Let's see. So, one there, one there, one there, uh, one there, and one there. Okay, beautiful. Now, all these should have water in them now. After we go get a wrench, these will have water, and they will start working, I believe. Okay, so these are now all filling up with water. We need to make sure they're all going to make ice once we're ready. So all these are going to make ice. Okay. We're not going to give them power just yet. They don't need power. We don't want them to have power just yet. We need them to... What do we What do We need, we need to go get a wrench. So I'm going to go grab a wrench. I'm actually going to see about grabbing some more of these ender, ender energy conduits. And uh, we're going to need some kind of piping system to pipe all the ice out. So I'll grab all that and we'll be right back. And then we should be able to, to do this whole thing. Okay, guys, so we locked out. We had a couple of our ender, uh, we had a, uh, sorry, guys, we locked out. We were, we did have enough, uh, of our energy conduit things to make a couple more ender, uh, energy conduits. So everything should work out now. All we have to do is run these energy conduits to our machines, but we will, ah, I forgot to bring the piping system. This sucks. Ah, all right, I'll be right back. Jesus. Ah. Okay, I've got everything we need this time, I hope, fellas, and then we can start uh, making our ice factory. And with the ice factory, you should be able to lay down a, an ice layer that we can then melt with torches or whatever, and it should make us a uh, nice little little area to, to you know, do, do stuff. Okay, this should work. I don't know why it's not. Okay, hold on. So we need to do this. These are going to have to all be changed, so I'm going to turn all these off. These are all going to have to be outputs. I believe. No. That's got to be blue. All right. There we go. I got it. This, I got this. So this needs to be turned to yellow. Okay. So we're going to run these out of here like this. And they're all going to run into one chest. So we're going to have to put one over here on this side. So iron transportation pipe there. We're going to have to knock a hole in the wall for this fella. Because it ain't going to work without it. So we'll tell that we need that to be yellow. Run the gold pipe out of the wall right there. Let's see. A little bit farther. Just so it looks better. And let's see. One, two... We've built things similar to this in the past. We just haven't built any in a while. Okay, so this thing right here. We're going to need this side to be red and this side to be red. Okay, everything's good. Now we just need to make sure everything's coming out of there. So that should tell it to let it go out that direction, out that direction. And then all of this needs to go this direction, I believe. So this they'll go this way and we put an iron pipe here. Then a gold pipe all the way down like so, and a chest under it, switch this out to an iron pipe. Everything should be good. It should be going into a chest. Now we just got to make sure that it's, uh, that it's working. So that, okay, hold on. That's, there we go. That should send it that way. That should send it that way. And that's good. Okay. It's all working. All we got to do is hook them up with an energy conduit and everything should work, I believe. So let's just hook them up and see what happens. Here goes nothing. Okay, hold on. We don't want these, like, doing that. That's definitely not what we want to have happen. Let's see. Those don't want to do that for sure. Okay, I see some ice coming out of one of them. We just got to make sure it's working. Okay. So, I see ice coming out. Uh, it looks like it's working just fine. There you go. The ice is being produced, and it should be going into the chest.
There we go! It's not the fast... Actually, it's getting faster. I thought it wasn't very fast, but as you can see, the ice is coming out at a very fast rate. Shazam! That's how we're gonna build us a canal and get ships going down to the ocean going, toot, toot, I'm on a boat! Toot, toot, I'm on a boat! You wish you were on a boat, but Legionnaires have all the boats. Let's see how much ice we have. Boom, already 52 ice. So we let this go for a little while. Uh, I'm going to run back to the base, and we got to make a builder's wand. So we got to sacrifice a sheep at nighttime. Is it nighttime? Nope. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do we do? We need to just wait for nighttime. And all right, we need to set up a sacrificial altar, kill a goat. Boom, that's what we're going to do. We sacrifice a sheep, get a builder's wand, and we give it a couple tries. Let's do it, shall we? Yeah. <coughs> okay, we're good. Here we go. Got to make a sheep sacrificial sheep goat thing. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to need? We're going to need a... Uh, I've done this before. We're going to need a uh, enchantment table and some redstone. Enchantment. Okay, there we go. We're going to need an enchant... Whoa. We're going to need an enchantment table. That shouldn't be too hard to get. All right, we're going to need a book. You tell me I ain't got a book out of all the things we got. We ain't got a book. No paper. There's going to be some sugar cane up in this thing. There we go. Perfect. So we'll throw that across there like that. Boom, make some paper, and then we make a little book like so. Boom, baby, going to make a book. You can't touch me. I'm not going to book of Eli from here. Woo! Okay, there we go. We got the enchantment table. We're going to need some redstone now. There we go, some redstone. Um, Yeah, that's all we're going to need. And a, uh, a sword. Boom, we're good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are good to go. We just need a sheep at midnight. It is not nighttime, but we will await nighttime. I'm going to go sit over here and prepare myself. I found our... Ba this is what we're going to use. We're just going to use one of these. Wait, 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 wait. I know a better one. I got a better one. Remember, we just got to... It's got to be a goat or a sheep. It don't got to be... No oh, we need the sigil itself. Why do I not remember? Oh, let their face off. <laughs> Shut up, Eddie. Huh? All right, here we go. So, it's inactive. You must perform activation ritual. Sneak right click on an enchantment table for details. All right, there we go. We've got what we need over here. We are set to go. We simply need to wait for nighttime, and then we will do the, the ritual, and yeah, we'll be good. All right, so we throw that down, and then we shift right, click with that. Uh, okay, let's see. Altar does not have a redstone circle. Cannot see the it's insufficient natural earth. All right, it's not happy with the amount of earth it has, so I'm just assuming the square isn't large enough for it. So we throw up a bit of a bigger square. I think it'll be okay. So what about this? Is this okay? All right, let's see if this one's okay. Altar has... All right, it has sufficient. All we need... All right, what's this? Altar must not be lit by outside sources. Too early. Sacrifice must be made at midnight. Okay. So, now we just put around a little bit of a redstone circle that looks like blood, I guess. And let's see. Shift click. Uh, okay, redstone... Altar has a redstone circle. We're good to go. We wait for midnight now, and uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what happens. Now we wait. Okay, guys, I think we're good. All we need to do is get a uh, sheep over to the circle. Come on, little sheep. Let's see. Do we have... Come on. Just come on. Somebody... All right. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. All we got to do is get a sheep to go over to the circle, and then we we, 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 we slice the sheep up. Here we go. Oh, come on, man. This, what? Come on. Wait. Did I miss it? All right. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's see. What does it, what does it say? Uh, we have an activated division sigil. We're good to go. Let's just get these guys out of our face. Okay, this is not good. Hold up. We're okay. We're okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, that thing over there is done. Let's just make sure that we have it. Okay, uh, number of uses remaining, 256. We have what we need. We have our uh, division sigil. It is working. So let's go back to our base. We'll leave those guys down there, and we can use our division sigil. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to build a builder wand, and uh, yeah, then we're going to we're gonna start the, uh, we'll start the show. We'll be right back. Okay, I went on, I went to sleep. I've got our builder wand created. All we got to do, we're going to go grab our ice and see if our idea is going to work. Hopefully, we have a decent amount of ice, and this thing is going to freaking be awesome. We're going to get our canal built, and our kingdom world is going to look awesome. Plus, we're already promoting people to freaking high-ranking members of Legion in this world. I like that. All right, let's see. Oh, my God, that's a lot of freaking ice. Talk about some freaking drinks. We, we, dude, we can drink a crazy amount of drinks with this. All right, let's go. We're, we've got some ice. Remember that? That's going to keep going. It doesn't actually run out. As long as we have power to it, it will not run out. So we're going to go over to the canal and we're going to start building our 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 thing. We're going to hopefully this will allow us to build our uh, shipping lane, our canal, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see. So we just need to go up here. Okay, that's perfect. That's all we need to do. Now what I need to do is I need to go put a stabilizer on our... Oh, look at that. It's burning up in the nighttime. Woo! That looks scary. Scary, scary. Okay. We need to go inside and we need to make our... What do you call it? We need to make... Um, what do you... Uh, we need to make our spacesuit 
stabilize. So in order to do that, we're going to need to make a, uh, where's it at? A stabilizer. We need a stabilizer. Okay, there we go. And to do that, we're just going to need a control circuit. So I'm going to make a control circuit and everything should work fine. Control. I don't really like these, by the way. I'm just going to throw that out there. Okay, I've got our control circuit. We should be able to make the flight controller. Let's see, flight controller. Press Z to go down. Uh, okay, install. I, I think this is good. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. We have our flight controller. It's good to go, I think. Let's see. Uh, all right, here goes nothing, guys. We're going to start putting the ice down, and hopefully this thing works. Okay, I'm not happy with the flight stabilizer. It's not exactly working the way that I would like, but I think it'll work just fine once we get going. There we go. Look at how fast we're putting down ice. Now, remember, we don't want to accidentally put ice in the wrong spot. Then we have to go back and melt it and whatnot. So it will take a little while. I'm not sure if this is faster than me just standing on the ice because this is actually taking a little while to do because you got to be careful not to put the ice in the wrong spot. I feel that we're going to end up putting ice in the wrong spot at some point. Or not. Let's see. I'm going to actually give it a try. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this off. I'm going to try to do it my way where I just stand on the ice and do it like this. I bet this is almost faster. I don't know. I, I'm going to be honest. I think this way is faster. What do you guys think? That flight stabilizer just wouldn't work for me. Like, it kept going towards the ground. This way right here, much faster. So, it's going to take forever to do this. And, uh, I mean, it's going to take a while. And we're going to have to get more ice. But I think this is going to be beautiful. I'm actually really excited about this. Look at that. So, we're out of ice now. We're out of ice, but look at it. Look at it. We've got a whole layer down. All we've got to do now... All we've got to do now, we go back and get ice. It's going to take one or two times doing this, uh, and then we will have a canal. So we'll show the next episode. I'll show you the canal. I hope you guys are excited about the canal because it's going to be freaking awesome when it's done. We're going to take a ship down through here. We're going to drive our little boat. Uh, yep, and we're going to bring supplies into the castle. Boom, yeah. If you do enjoy the video, don't forget to slap that like button, guys. I greatly appreciate it, and you guys are fantastic. And we'll catch you on the flip side, good buddies and ladies and gentlemen. Laters.